Hey there everyone. Today we're going to move our broiler chickens out of the egg tunnel lodge and into their chicken tunnel. Um, I've been kind of nervous to do this because we just lost the one chicken that was living out here to an ermine, I believe. So I have to beef this up first to increase our security for these birds. And then we're going to get the 26 birds out of here and into their new home. We've got 33 chickens in here right now. We used to have 34 until the ermine came. So we've lost two birds so far to this critter. And so I've got a trap set up. The problem with the Econo Lodge is it's just getting too much to clean. 34 chickens in here. It's every day I'm adding new bedding and they're finishing their water and food uh, twice a day. So I've been putting this off for about a week now. Uh, because of this predator problem. I haven't caught him yet um, because I had the dogs out here and we also had a, a, a hawk eating chicken food that had spilled, which was a separate issue. Today we're going to get this all prepped. We're going to beef up the perimeter. We're going to put some uh, rabbit mesh all the way around it and uh, out the sides and then I will uh, staple it to the wood. So hopefully it, it's not as easy for him to get in before he just walked right through this open this one by two mesh which is too big for the chickens so we learned a lesson there um, but he also got into this coop which was not good um, it has a ramp that comes up and so I have to put that up at night I forgot to put it up that night and we lost a chick so he knows where his food is now which I, means I think he will be back but I've got some salmon in a box here for bait that I think will uh, lure him into the trap and uh, hopefully he goes for that over the chicks. So like I said, it's getting a little crowded in here for them. They don't really go outside down, you know, down into the bottom that often. Uh, maybe three or four of them will go up there in the, in the middle of the day, but they usually all stay cooped up in here. Um, so I just, it, it's a lot to be, be changing out their bedding. It's making great compost, but it's, uh, it's a lot of, it adds to the daily chores. And so we're gonna get them out into some fresh, fresh grass if we can make it safe for them. So they've got a little ramp here that I can, I can pull up and down at night. Um, and then long term, this will be for the egg layers and over the winter and everything. Um, they'll have their little nesting boxes, which will be cleaner than they are right now. But. All right, so we got the wire on. It's the hottest day of the year so far, and it's uh, 
it's a real cooker out here. So I think I've, uh, oh, I got sweat in my eyes. I think I got this pretty good. I, I'm not gonna say it's impossible for anything to get in there, but I think I, I think I did a pretty good job. We're gonna start moving our chicks in. Well, they're not chicks anymore, they're, they're chickens now. We'll start moving them in and uh, yeah, hopefully they like their new home. Here's the uh, the kill site where we lost our, our dear Miss Penny. So I was talking, I was talking to my friend who's a trapper in the Taquitna Mountains about uh, two hours north of here and he knew exactly what, what I was dealing with here. He knew right away it was an ermine. Um, and he, it, it seems to be coming from the same direction every time, every time it comes. And uh, he'll probably continue to do that. And uh, there probably, there might be a pair of them. It might be a male and a female. So even if I catch one, I gotta keep the trap out there just in case there's another one. But they are territorial, so there probably isn't another, another one for a, a, a little ways around here. So we're just gonna have to keep uh, Keep an eye out. They only seem to kill one at a time. They don't just go in and kill all of them. He seems to try to kill one and then try to pull it pull it back to his his den. Uh, both of them, they were pulled up tight against the fencing and their head was missing. So uh, we figure he pulled. He was trying to pull them out through his little hole that he went in and uh, pulling them out by the head. So we will uh, we'll keep the trap out and we're gonna. I had the dogs running around out here trying to get the scent for him and uh, so he might have. He might have smelt the dogs and has been keeping away for the past couple days because I haven't seen any any sign of him, but I know he's he's not gone. I'm gonna start moving the chickens in here. I'm gonna hang their water and their uh, food first, and then uh, yeah, we'll just make sure they're they're happy and comfortable in their new home. I'm excited to see them out there. They're gonna have a lot more space, and they're finally they don't seem to go down outside very often on their own. They uh, they they seem to stay up up inside where. You know, it, it gets hot and stinky, so I'm, I'm happy for them to, to be able to get out here and run around outside, get some sunshine. So I'm gonna get to it and start moving them over. Could you reach in and get the camera out, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got our 
broilers in their new home. They seem to be happy as can be. Let's see if that ermine comes around. And they still haven't really ventured over to the kill site yet. I don't know if they can smell that. I guess I don't blame them. They don't seem to be too bothered. One of them actually survived a fight with the ermine when he got into the Econo Lodge over there. There was a chunk taken out of his leg and his uh, breast and uh, it was just from the skin and so I took him out and I washed him up and I can't even tell which one he is right now so I think he's, I think he's doing fine. But I'm, I'm more confident than this now. I don't think he'll, the ermine will get in here. I think he'll hopefully take that easy fish over there. I'll show you what I, what I did for the, the trap over here. So in there I've got some, got some fish, some uh, rockfish uh, ribs that, uh, and I left it in a plastic bag so it doesn't dry out. I want it to keep, I want it to be as stinky as possible. He's gonna have to walk over that body gripper trap to get to the fish. So we'll go in that hole, and I put I I, uh, I used to have the trap closer to the, the door, but I didn't want a dog to stick their nose in there or a kid to stick their hand in there or me to stick my foot in there. Well, I can hear some thunder rumbling off in the distance. I think we might get some rain. These guys seem content, so I'm gonna go clean up and cook some supper, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.